Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at a small FPV robot that I designed and built myself using 3D printing, standard off the shelf RC parts, and an Arduino. We start off in fusion with the drawing. Now I wanted to make this thing have as much ground clearance as possible. Also kind of make it water resistant so I move the batteries upwards and I put the motor controllers in a little pocket so if water gets in it won't get directly to the controllers. So And the motors are pointed upwards so that no moisture can get directly on them. So hopefully it'll be water resistant. With the frame printed, I see some places I need to make modifications, but we're going to go with it anyways. Because I'm in a hurry, I printed this with a 0.8 millimeter nozzle, so the print lines are rather massive. So I'm going to give it a layer of primer so I can uh, fill in some of the cracks and make it look a little better. And one coat doesn't really do it, so I give it multiple coats until it's as smooth as I like it. In between I sanded it to you know help smooth it out. All primed up and I mount the motors make sure everything fits. Now I use the die grinder to kind of offset the motor axle holes a little bit because I was off a little bit in my drawing. Apparently the dimensions I got were a little wrong. And I'm going to use wheels from a previous robot that I built just because I'm again in a hurry. They're uh, probably better than the design I made for this robot anyway, so I'm probably going to stick with these. I kind of like them. They work pretty good. So here the top of the body is printed out. Now it gets the same uh, primer treatment as the base does, so I can move on to painting it the final color I want. Now I have the top on the base. I had to do some minor adjustments to the drawing and go at this piece with the die grinder because I didn't feel like wasting plastic. And now we're on to painting. I decided I was going to go with a camo, just kind of old school camo on it, so I did this by hand and this probably took me about an hour and a half. All painted up, now I hook the motor controllers up to uh, the servo tester and battery just to make sure everything works. And looks like everything's working fine, so we'll move on to the next step. And I want to throw an FPV mount or FPV camera on it, so here I drew up a mount and I printed that off. And here it is with the camera in it, just kind of sitting on the front of the case. 
It'll all look better when it's all bolted together. So I plug in the Arduino to do my mixing, load up the program, and we should be ready to go. Now I've used this program before on another four-wheel drive robot with the same steering, and I haven't had any issues, so shouldn't be a problem here. I switched some of the pin numbers around, but it's basically the exact same program I've been using before. Now, got it all tested, make sure everything works, and looks like we're good, except we're going to eat the wire here. And we're just running off USB power here, so I don't want to give it too much. Now we're on the floor, everything seems to be working. So I'm going to head outside and give it a little bit more of a test. All of a sudden, it started acting very erratically. Why? So we're back inside on the desk, hooked up to the computer, and you can see here it's still acting very erratically. Now I'm not sure if this is interference or something in my code, so I'm gonna kind of look around and see what happened. Maybe watch the serial monitor and see what I come up with. So looking at the serial monitor, you can see the outputs I have come up set up the print here and there we go it's starting to do the funny thing and you can see the one side is getting uh, basically the turning signal so I'm not exactly sure what to do about this if I was bad programming you'd think it would do it all the time not intermittently so I pulled the Arduino right out of it to try and eliminate my code see if it's still remote and Everything seems to be working good. I don't see any jittering or interference coming through Although it's hard to tell the drive like this. So everything seems to be working And of course immediately after I stop filming it starts going crazy again So I guess it's in the radio side not the Arduino good to know. It's not my coding, but now I'm really not sure what to do with this. So I wonder if it's the Wi-Fi router or just Wi-Fi interference altogether. It seems to work for a while and then it goes bad and then it works a while again. I don't know what the deal is. At this point, after being in and out of it so many times, I decided I didn't like the cap or the top part. So I decided to print another one. I went to bed and woke up to this. So I'll have to sort that out and I think I can save this part. So what I ended up doing is measuring it and slicing the piece so that I can just glue it on and paint it all up. And well, that's pretty much it. You have it here all together, painted up, ready to go. And you can see at the beginning of the video, it driving around and working pretty good. Now I'd like to change the wheels a little bit. They are a little stiff, you know, the air filled or airless tires, they're a little stiffer than I'd like. They don't deform to the ground as much as I'd prefer. And I'd like to make them wider and weigh a lot more so it's a lot less likely to flip over. All in all, other than those few modifications I'd like to make and finding a better controller to run with it that's not wore out and all corroded inside, I'm rather happy with this robot and I've had a lot of fun making it and dicking around with it out in the yard and shooting this. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click like. If you want to see more, click subscribe. And I'll be back with more as soon as I can. Have a good one, guys.